it's a big part of the Northwest Ohio economy is data centers now. So there's a lot of data centers that are coming in, coming into play. So I see it like firsthand in my community. I see them when I'm driving down the road, I see them coming into place. You got to find a way to power these things. And so uh, what's great about solar is really fast to dispatch. And what I mean by dispatch, I mean like you can conceive of a power plant, design it, permit it, construct it, commission it in a relatively short period of time. And when I say relatively, I'm talking like 12 to 24 months. And so as these data centers come into being, they're going to need energy and they're going to need it fast. So solar is the perfect solution for that. In some sort of combination with like grid power, you can, you can definitely get like the power that you need, but not have to overburden the grid that you have. And then ultimately one big concern is everybody's worried about their personal electricity bills going up with the emergence of data centers. It's like, okay, so now there's going to be a huge source of demand on electricity in my area. Am I going to end up having to pay for that? So we got to continue to, to find cost-effective sources of new energy in, in order to, to make sure that it doesn't become a big burden on everybody uh, where these data centers are being built. Perhaps the first step of that or the, of the solution is the right regulation, of course. So, uh, so people are not going to be outbid by the data centers and ultimately yeah, I will consume all the power that's being produced in a local area and then you won't be able to you know, turn your kettle on. And, and the second thing is you, what you personally can also do is install solar, right? 